When do you go back, Meltem? I'll be here until Sunday. Okay, I'll see you before that. So long. It's nice to Good see night. you. Good night. When Parahan heard about the wedding, she got a headache. Nah. <laughs> oh, no, I think it's a cold. Uh, she'll be okay. Mm -hmm. She'll feel better tomorrow. Where? Have you decided where Veral will stay, then? Mm-mm. I already sent you a lot of emails with photographs. Message sent. Veral didn't show me anything. You said he was home. What did he do? He stayed in his room. He makes me feel ill, you know it? No, you don't need to go. We argued today, and now he doesn't come down to dinner to punish me. He will be gone in a few days. He needs to pull himself back together. Drinking! Help me now. Wait, I'll call for an ambulance. Veral, hold on. My my son, please open your eyes. Veral! So did Golub tell the news to the journalists? Yes, but it didn't change anything. They took back all the papers. All that he told them was a waste. And the journalists were about to write the news. I wish it would happen. There would be such a scandal. But it's a lie, so they wouldn't write it. You're still saying it's a lie. And why are you still trying to protect them? No, I'm not protecting anyone, so just drop it now. And you will keep saying it then, huh? As if you were the only one who did this, won't you now? I don't believe it. Tell me that you didn't do it, please. I need to hear you saying that you didn't. Tell me. Tell me that you didn't do it, Karem. I know that you didn't. I know it, my boy. Now tell me. Just why do you stay silent and thoughtful, too? Tell me now. Tell me why are you silent? Fatmogul is too. They must have tricked you somehow. If you're not guilty and you're afraid of something, then I can fight with you against all of them. I know I can help you through this. I'm not afraid of anything. What is it then? <laughs> that girl. That girl what? I helped destroy her life. So you accept that you did? I'll never forgive myself, never. 
No, you can't forgive that. Fatma Ghul will never forgive you either. And believe me, I will never forgive you. You'll be miserable not only until the day you die, but for an eternity. I'll have to go far away. You can go home. And I'll go far away after they move in here, okay? And where will you go? Mm -hmm. Which home, then? I don't have a home there anymore. I was their Ebenine, and now I'm only their enemy. Everyone keeps their daughters far away from me right now. And now they don't trust me to heal them anymore. They were about to hit me. They wanted me to go away. They were about to kill me instead of you. Huh? They don't love me anymore because now they only hate my guts. Do you know nothing? I won't go back home. And where would I go because I don't have a home there anymore? And you won't go anywhere either, Karen. Do you hear everything that I'm saying? Huh? You won't be going anywhere at all. You owe it to her. You owe me. And you owe all of us. Be a man now. Because you're responsible for her life. Look at these. Stop it. What are you doing? Stop it. Stop it. Fatma Ghul's alone, and you will never leave her. You can't go anywhere. Do you hear me now? Karem, do you hear me? Promise. Promise that you won't go. You'll promise that you'll help her. I'll be here to make sure you do it. Look at this. Stop it. And from now on, I'll only be living for this. <laughs> <laughs>